Moses prayed to the Lord to teach him to number his days. Psalms 90.12 Moses was educated in the highly sophisticated education system of Egyptian empire. He knew mathematics, he knew trigonometry, algebra. What did he mean when he said, teach us to number our days? So he understood time is a precious gift from God. It is one of the resources God gives to every human being. He wanted to understand how to use this resource purposefully, meaningfully, and for the glory of God. So every disciple of Lord Jesus Christ has to do the same prayer because life is like a vapor. It will disappear. Before we understand what and why we are living for, our life may be gone. Hence, it is very essential to know how to use, how to manage, and how to make it as an investment for the kingdom of God. So when we talk about time, there are various things. We call it as Kronos and Kairos. So Kairos is the time that we can manage. Kronos is like calendar, the year long, which is beyond our understanding because the Bible says when you say something about tomorrow, you say if God wills, that means tomorrow is not in our hand but today is in our hand. So using the time is very important. So when you define the time, it is a continuum, past, present, and future. Our existence and events are continuously happening from past, present, to future. Stephen Covey, one of the management gurus, divided the time are the events that happen the time into four quadrants. So these quadrants give us an idea how we are using our time. The first quadrant is important and urgent. These are some things which we have to respond immediately. A phone bell rings, we have to respond immediately. There is a fire, we have to respond immediately. Our car breaks down. We have to respond immediately. So that is one type of thing. The second is, second quadrant is urgent but not important. So a preparation for an exam for a student is important but not urgent because it is 10 days away. So it is same, it is five days away, three days away, two days away. But when it is tomorrow, so that task is moved into important and urgent. So the quality time should be invested in second quadrant, not urgent but important. The, there is a third quadrant, urgent but not important, that seems to be important but not urgent. For example, a friend comes to visit us. So it may not be an important meeting. It is not, they have come, so we have to give time. So that means it is time that is robbed from us. So the fourth quadrant is not urgent, not important. So we call it as triva, that is, does not add meaning to our life, does not add flavor to our life. Even without doing that, our life can get along. Maybe watching a cricket match. So for three hours we may have emotional excitement, but end of the match, so there is no benefit for us. So we may lose three hours. So we have to understand that we have to invest more time in quadrant two. That is important but not urgent. 
if 80% of our time is spent on the tasks which are important but not urgent, that person can be very stable. The person can be very strategic. The person will become very wise. And he will not have lot of first quadrant events. Only when we neglect quadrant two, the things crop up in quadrant one. So those who live in quadrant one, they always do firefighting. They always get into emergency. So in our life, we have to discipline ourselves so that we use our time in the second quadrant, which is important but not urgent, so that our life becomes meaningful and purposeful. So in this series, we are going to see 10 important principles that will help us to manage our time profitably, meaningfully, usefully, and optimistically. May God bless you.